I dare you to fix me. I'm crossing the line. everybody how are you guys today hope you guys are doing well i'm sorry this is a late reading vlog that i started it in the middle of the week to be perfectly honest i have not been in the mood for filming and when i do film i just have not been happy with it like i did a um owl crate unboxing deleted it because i didn't like how it turned out I did a um, book haul. Didn't like how that turned out. Yeah. I don't know, you guys. I'm just like in one of those things that I'm just like second guessing myself on certain things. Like when I do videos. So, yeah. I think everybody probably has those days where they just don't like the video. So, they just scrap it. That's how mine is the last couple of days. But I have been reading. I'm reading um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardell. Of course, it's a reread, like my third time reading it. And I'm currently on 104. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Um, what more can I say? In case you don't know what this is, it's about Kaz, Inez, Nina, Mathis, or how, I don't know how you say his name. I always say his name wrong. Mateus, maybe? I can't never remember how you say his name. And just Jasper. And then some other characters. And they have to pull off a heist. Or they're trying to pull off a heist. And that's all you really need to know. And I am just trying to get caught up. Before um, the Shadow and Bone slacks Six of Crows comes on Netflix next month on the 23rd. Can't wait. I'm so excited. But anyways, so yeah. And they're called the Crows. Crows. Six of Crows. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Like I said. Every time I read books after, you know, books that I already read and I reread them, I see something like, I didn't even notice that last time. I didn't notice that last time. So, yeah. But I really like this. And then, I am also reading Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, I'm on 106 in that. I'm about the same <laughs> in both. Um, and all I know is about, there's devils and angels, I guess. And... There's something about handprints that are going on the walls or something. And, oh no. It says, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. This is one of the books that I would have, um, this is one of the books that, I can't remember if I hauled this one or if this would have been on the haul that I scrapped. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty interesting so far. I'm not sure, um, how you say, um, I think hers is pronounced Carew. It's K A R O U, but I don't I don't know how you say this guy's name. Akiva? 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 I don't know. It's A K I V A. But yeah, I don't know too much about this. I'll read to you what it says. Once, a, once upon a time, an angel and devil fell in love. It did not end well. It says, around the world, black handprints are apparent on doorways, scorched there by winged strangers who have crept through a slit in the sky. And in the tangled lanes of Prague, a young art student named Carew is about to be caught up in a brutal, otherly, otherly 
worldly war. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it says when a stranger, when a strange, beautiful haunted Akiv, how we say his name, Akiv, fixes his fire-colored eyes on her, the result is a star-crossed love whose roots drank deep of a violent past. It goes from master storyteller and national best, best uh, if I can talk, it's not even best, and national book award finalist Lainey Taylor comes a sweeping and gorgeously written modern fantasy about, uh, about a forbidden love, an ancient and epic battle, and hope for a world remade. So, yeah. Like, the first, like, 30 pages, I was kind of bored. But now that uh, Akiv or Kav or how you say his name is is in the book, and stuff is starting to happen, I'm starting to like it more. But it was a slow start. But yeah, excuse me. But the one I'm concentrating on mostly today is Six of Crows. Okay. And I've already changed my TBR a couple of times. Like the one I put up. Some of those books I probably won't get to because I added some other books to my TBR. For one thing, I decided I ordered Chain of Iron, but I decided before I read that, I want to read Chain of reread Chain of Gold because it's been about a year, almost a year since I read it. I read it in May of last year, so yeah, it's almost been a year since I read it. So I want to. Make sure I remember everything. So this is going to be on my TBR now. And me and my friend um, Drew are going to be buddy reading um, the... I forget what it's called. I forgot what it's called. But it's a Brandon Sanderson book. Um, I can't think of it right now. My brain... <laughs> um, yeah, I just... I, my, blank, my mind went completely blank. So I do not know... I do not know... I do not remember the name of it. Um, sleep my mind. It's the second book in in the in the, the um, series, but I can't even think of the first name. Oh, the first one is the Final Empire. Oh, I got it now. A Well of Ascension. Yeah, we're about to reading that one. So <laughs> I knew if I could figure out the se the first one that the second one popped into my brain. It did, but yeah, so. Two more added. And then I wanted to show you, since I didn't do the owl crate, I wanted to show you one of the items we got. And then the book is with my daughter, so I don't feel like getting up to go get it right now. But I'll show you one of the items. So if you got owl crate, or if you get an owl crate, and you don't want to know any of the items, then don't watch. And because this is where I'll end it after I show this. So come back and watch again later. All right, bye. All right, so we got this tin. It's like a book. It's a, and it's nice, isn't it? The thing is, it's kind of like the way they made it. It's kind of like some hard. Sometimes it gets stuck and it's hard to open it, or it'll slide, and then I have to figure out. I have to get it back on the track because it, you know. But it says magic and madness. This is um. The uh, Darker Shade of Magic fandom. But look at this. And there's the spine. And that's as Terriers. I forget how you say that word. Travers? Travers? Something like that. See? See, the lid came off again. It's always sliding off. It's not broke. I could put it back on there. It's just the way they made it, they didn't, you know. But it says, Blood was magic made manifest there it thrived but look at the pretty design i'll fig i'll fix it later but this is what it looks like on the inside that of course are mine <laughs> that didn't come with it <laughs> i wish it would have came stuff would have came in it <laughs> yeah so right now i'll just see if i can get it on there i don't know if anybody else got this and if they're having it if theirs slides off like this but see, it's back on now. But it like slides so it falls off real easy. See what I mean? But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. 
and I will talk to you guys all when I have something else to say. Bye for now. When there's no more hope is left in me, I can see what comes my way, and I'm always lost. There's nowhere else to go. All I do is fall. Feels like I can make it more than I could bear. Giving up is all that I can surrender. I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knees Hey everybody I read some more I'm on 154 They already said My quote that's on my bookmark when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. Never said that line. There's this one part that's coming up that's so gross, but the guy that this happens to really does, is that, I mean, did some awful things. But still, what Kaz does to this one certain person, ooh, But yeah, there's some really awesome quotes in here and some fa just favorite parts of mine in general. Don't necessarily have to be like a quote, just, you know, things that make me, like, what you call it, that reason with me and things like that. He says about this job to An Anej, we'll be kings and queens, Anej, kings and queens. <laughs> about the job that they're the that they're supposed to do. And then this um, Kaz says, um, the only thing that keeps his his um, anger in check, I guess you could say, is um, when he says, brick by brick, I will destroy you. Then, I like um, this one. I don't know how you say this word. S Sulu? Sula? It's S-U-L-I. There was a S-U-L-I saying, The heart is an arrow. It demands aim to land true. And then another thing was, Be decisive, he'll say. She talked about her dad. You have to know when you want to go. I mean, where you want to go before you get there. And there's a part that I thought that was sweet that um, that Inez dad says about her mom. So, spoiler. If you guys don't like spoilers, then don't listen to this part. But they're talking about flowers. They talk about how... Um, Anesha's mom likes flowers, he says. Mom's loves was... I don't know how you say this word. I know what it is, but I don't know how to say it. G-E-R-A-N-I-U-M-S. Because no other flower has quite the same color. And she claimed that when she snapped the stem and puts a spring behind her ear, the whole world smells like summer. And then he says... Many boys will bring you, you flowers, but someday you'll meet a boy who will learn your favorite flower, your favorite song, your favorite sweet. And even if he's too poor to give you any of them, it won't matter because he will have taken the time to know you as no one else does. Only that boy earns your heart. Ah, There's some cute, there's some like neat things in here, sayings and things that just tug at my heart. Like there's one that he says later. I think it's maybe in the next book. Is it the next book he says? I can't remember. It might be the next book. 
but him and Inez are just so adorable. So, um, also my, um, lighter purple, or is that darker purple? I can't remember. Whatever the last purple is, I think that's lighter. Well, anyways, it's gonna be my favorite Kaz and Inez scenes together and apart. Even though I forgot to put some for Kaz's, my favorite Kaz scenes, because there are some already that happened that I didn't put a, the purple to. I should have, but I didn't, so. Well, but I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know if I'm going to update you guys anymore tonight, because it's getting late, and I'm tired, and i got to go fold some laundry. So, yeah. Okay, spoiler two, in case you are getting owl crate and didn't um, get it yet. And you don't and you don't want to know what the book is because since I'm not doing a, a, a video for it since I decided not to, I was gonna just show you guys the book in case you guys were interested in what the Owl Crate book is. I think this month I will do one, especially for Owl Crate Junior, and we'll see about a regular Owl Crate. Owl Crate, but I know for sure when I get my Owl Crate Junior, I'm gonna do it, and then Fake Crate, yeah, because you guys have not seen me do a Fake Crate. I've done a fake crate before, but it's been a long time, so yeah. But okay, spoiler alert for the book for Owl Crate for, this was February, not March yet. Even though I didn't get mine until March, but anyways, okay. All right, here we go. Last chance to walk away if you don't want to see what the book is. Okay, bye. Okay, here it comes. This is the book we got, The Gilded Ones, by Naomi, Naomi. Fordon, named, uh, I don't know, sorry, I know I'm totally butchering the author's name, it says, are we girls or are we demons, are we going to die or are we going to survive, look at that, isn't that cool, and the only, the difference is that in the original, on the original cover, all this detail is in here, none of this detail is here, so all like the little designs in here you won't find them on the um, original one and this is about demon I think they think you're a demon or something if you have a certain color blood okay gold if you have red blood then you belong if you have gold that's the color of impurity And that is a worse than you would face worse consequences that are worse than death. So then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice. Stay in the village and submit to her fate or leave to fight for the emperor. In an army of girls just like her. There are they are called Elki. Elkai? A L A K I. Near mortals with rare gifts. And they are the only ones who can stop the Empire's greatest threat. Knowing the dangers that lie ahead, yet yearning for acceptance, I think her, you say her name, Deka or Deka, D-E-K-A, decides to leave the only life she's ever known. But as she journeys to the capital to train for the biggest battle of her life, she discovers that the great walled city holds many surprises. Nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be, not even Deka or Deka herself. In this bold and immersed fantasy, a young heroine fights to save the world that would dare to tame her and discover that she is her own fierce weapon. But, we open it up, there's the cool design. And then it's green. Isn't that gorgeous? So, in other words, it's this part here, but bigger, it looks, I think. That's what it looks like, like, like that, but bigger. And it's signed like always. The one for this month is going to be spray paint edges. And of course, my favorite thing, a map. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys all tomorrow night.
everybody. Happy Thursday. Look, I got my, um, my Six of Crow Crows jersey from, I don't know if they're called, it's called a jersey or what. I always forget, but it's from, on Instagram, um, Blissfully Bookish. I believe that's the name. Let me double check. Yeah, Blissfully Bookish Company. So, any cute? And let me see. I got a t-shirt on under it. So, let me see if I can get it off without flashing you. Because <laughs> you never know if it's going to, you know. <laughs> if, 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 if the sleeves would come off. But look at the back. Isn't it cute on the back? Like, look at it. It says... On the back, it says, the city ruled by crows. And then it says, the crow club and famous waffles here. Because they, and one character in particular, really, loved waffles in this book. So, you know, they all like waffles, but this one per particular person really loves them. <laughs> so. Let me see if I can get this back on. I gotta wash it later. I haven't even washed it yet. I gotta read the the thing on it later to see what it says for how I'm supposed to wash it. <laughs> Sorry about my hair. Okay, speaking of books, let's get talking about it. So I read a little bit more it was, since we are doing Six of Crows first. Uh, since I was talking about Six of Crows, let's talk about that. I just finished, I mean, not finished, but I read some more in this. I'm now on 213. Really loving it. And I read some more in Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I'm really liking this. I wound up buying the um, box set, so we'll be here tomorrow. And then I'm going to give my copy that's coming in the box set, the first one, to Robin, since I already have the first one. And then I'm going to keep the other two. But I just wanted to buy the two, but it was like 28 something just for the two books. And that wasn't even with tax. And it was only 28 something altogether for all three books with the tax. <laughs> so, yeah. But it's really getting good. I'm on page, what did I say? Did I tell you? I'm on 160. I'm starting to learn a little bit more, but still not still don't know like what she is like is she a angel is she a devil is she is she a demon I don't know what she is so yeah but I'm really intrigued you can see I've been tabbing it and I finally since I decided that I liked it I even under I think I underlined something yeah I underlined something right here That's a quote, because hope comes from in you and wishes are just magic. Wishes are false. Hope is true. Hope makes its own magic. I like that quote. This one guy was saying it to her because they're talking about like magic and stuff. So I didn't want to read like the whole thing because I didn't want to raise anything. But I like this one too, so I I underline this too. Once upon a time, a little girl was raised by monsters, but angels burned the doorway to their world, and she was all alone. So, those are the only two I've underlined. But like I said, now that I know I like it, I'm going to start. If there's something that I like, I'm going to, you know, underline it. So, those are two. And I got my third book in the, um, I always forget which one's which. I forget which one the first one is called or which one's the second one's called because I suck at remembering. I'll tell you which one's which. Maybe it's on the back. Yeah, the first one is Crave and the second one's Crush. And, of course, it's Vampires. And this is um, the Target version. The only thing I don't like is that they put the stickers on here, like where you can't take it off. I like the ones where you can peel it off, but this one's, like, in there. Like, on there, you know, you can't take it off. But, I guess the special ones have a tagline. 
This one says, Death Can Suck It. And I can't read to you what it's about because I have not read the second one, but look at these beautiful end pages. And then there's the Kettermere. I forget how you say that word. I forget the name of the place, but it's their logo. And then of the school. I think it's the school. And then so it's Coven on the back. And I already showed you a symbol. And then there's some stuff, but I don't know if I can read it because it might be spoilerly. But there is, um, I'm trying to see where the, um, oh, Welcome to the Vampire Court. I can show you that piece. I just can't show you the rest because I don't know if it's spoiler. I'll turn one page because it might not spoil too much. It just says, turn the page for exclusive bonus content. It looks like there's a, a note so I don't know what the note's about because I don't want to read it because it might spoil it. But that's all it is, is just a note. So, But I really like it. And then there's supposed to be like one for like witches. I don't remember what store had the witches. And then there was one for um, dragons. Because those are the three main um, categories. There's other categories as well, you know, like for creatures and animals, whatever. You know, supernatural creatures, whatever you want to say. But this one's a vampire one. So, yeah. But I need to read the second one. Because like I said, I started... I told you guys before, I started the second one. But put it down because I wanted to wait until closer to this time. And, yeah. It was damaged a little right there. But I'll survive. But I will be getting some more book mail. In a little bit. Because I ordered something else that is coming from Amazon. And it will be here later. And then tomorrow I'm going to have my box set and I will um, have my, um, excuse me, I ordered some more tabs. And I had to buy new tabs again. I think they're the same color, but different company or something like that. Because the ones that I got last time, these kind, they didn't have no more in this type. I think the other ones are the same color, but I'm just saying it. This one's a different company than the one that I'm getting it from, and different. Uh, I don't know if it's different sizes. I don't know if it's this size or if it's the littler ones like I had last time. I don't have any idea, but we'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, and I should be getting my um, book of the month tomorrow or the next day. I'll probably do the book of the month and um, show you guys my um, the box set to this when I get it. So if I get, I might not show you the box set until Saturday, but I'll probably wind up, um, just, um, doing a separate video, just doing a regular video. And I'll probably show these again, but I'm going to let you guys go because I'm, my friend's getting ready to do a live stream in a few minutes. So I want to watch, I want to participate because I want to read. And then, um, I might update you guys today. I might wait until tomorrow because this is going to be a long video. So I might go ahead and put this up, like read a little bit more, update you guys, and then put this one up after that. So I'll be back later. Hi, everybody. I wanted to update you and then I'm going to end this vlog. And if I read, I'll vlog tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to vlog Saturday or Sunday as well, but I'll at least vlog tomorrow because I'm off. So I'll be able, from babysitting, so I'll have the whole day to read. So yeah. But I want to update you guys. First, I got my copy of Chain of Gold from Amazon. And I didn't realize that it was a collector's first edition. I didn't even know that Amazon had a collector's first edition. Isn't that cool? I didn't know. It says um, that it has like a story. There's a story in it. With the back. I'm not going to look at this. I don't want to be spoiled. But um, there's a book on here. It's called One Must Always Be Careful of Books. And it's a bonus story featuring Magnus, Magnus and Jim. Isn't that cool? I didn't even know. Cute beans. But I didn't know it was a, a collector's edition. First edition. Isn't that cool that it's a collector's first edition? I don't know why I think that's so cool. But uh, I want to read this like 
right after I reread Chain of Gold, but it's supposed to be our book club pick for May. I don't know, you guys. I might have to read this before May. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I do have a lot of other books I need to get to this month. Okay, now. Uh, my friend, like I was saying, was doing read and sprints. So I read some more in Six of Crows. And I got to page... I got to chapter one, page 257. Of course, I'm still loving my reread. I took my shirt off, as you can see. And just had my regular shirt on. But yeah, I'm really loving this. And I got to like page 296 or 297. Yeah, I just began to write a page... Um, I was in the middle of page 296, so, and I figured out something. Just say she doesn't know who she is, and I figured out who she was. I never figure out plots, but I figured out who she was. So, yay, yay. I love when I figure things out sometimes. But, yeah. <laughs> It's good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I pre-ordered, like I, I think I told you guys, I pre-ordered the, um, I'm not pre-ordered. I ordered the uh, the uh, bundle. Because you could get all three of them for, um, it was like with, with tax, it was 28 something. Not bad. Because I was looking, uh, I wanted to buy just the two. I can't remember if I told you guys, but. I wanted to buy just a two, but it was like 28 something, even without the tax. That was before the tax. So it was like 28 something just for two books when I could get three for the that price. So, yeah. So the other one will just go, like I was saying to my daughter. Look at the cat. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I got the little thing right there, like the dangly thing, and he's, he wants it. He wants it. Look at him. <laughs> he's a nut but yeah I'm really enjoying this book I'm surprised I'm liking it as much as I did I still don't think I'm going to give it I think you'll probably like between a 3.7 and a 4 star it doesn't feel like a 5 star but it's good it could be a, maybe a 4.25 4.5 but I don't feel like it's going to be a 5.5 five. I do like the characters so there's that <laughs> the cat, he's just looking at it. He's like, I want it, Bob. I want it. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's my little baby. I got to go and feed my, my little boy here. And I got to put this on the charger. Um, I don't know when this is going to go up. The video. I don't know. I might get it um, all fixed before I go to bed tonight. I might do the whole thing. And have it scheduled for tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be up on Saturday. But yeah, but yeah, I hope you guys all have a good night and I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. I dare you to fix me. I love you guys all. Have a good night. I'm crossing the line again, falling on.